Hey guys, it's Brian with Score Outdoors and uh, we are going backpacking in the winter in the snow. We parked and spent the night here at the Boulder Lake Trailhead. We're gonna hike up past Boulder Lake and try and make it to Rapid Lake. Should be about four miles, I think. 3.5. Somewhere around there. Gonna be cold. We got enough, uh, enough food and enough gear. And one thing that we're super excited about is we have homemade bread for dinner and steaks. So uh, if that's all you wanna see, just skip ahead and watch the food. But uh, enough talk. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you should do that. Let's get started. To the first destination which is boulder lake and it's only like what we made it 1.79 miles not bad and uh yeah we're gonna try and make it over to rapid lake if all else fails we might just turn back and <laughs> end up camping right here depending on how deep the snow gets and uh, we're doing okay now it's really light and fluffy but uh might get a little deeper it's a pretty cool place but i think we're going to continue on and basically it's right over there i think right over there is where rapid lake is so we'll see if we make it um what was it? there was something else all right enough talking let's keep hiking snow's getting deeper wish i bought some places Rapid Lake. We made it. It's all iced over. It's a gorgeous view. I mean, it's just amazing here. Glad we uh, stuck through the climbs and the grunt and made it here. Um, we're gonna head this way, follow the lake, the uh, rim of the lake, and see if we can find a campsite over there. I mean, we're gonna hit the peninsula over there, but uh, these you can see some spots over here that look really good. So. Let's keep hiking. Oh, use my trekking pole as a selfie stick. Oh, should have brought snowshoes, learned from the lessons, lessons learned.
All right, guys. This is our campsite. We have it all set up. Sun's going down. We're just about to have dinner. Here's my tent. Anthony's tent. Jason's tent on the other side of this rock. I kind of hoped, uh, I kind of uh, asked for this spot because I was hoping that this rock would kind of shield any type of wind that would, uh, this rock would shield kind of any wind that would come. Um, we got a campfire going and flew the drone. Hopefully you enjoyed those shots. And uh, yeah, hoping uh, feet are a little wet and uh, I don't know, a little chilly. That's why I want to get back to the fire. And uh, the really excited for dinner. We're gonna have a really good, really good dinner. So. I have to have some sturdy ground. I'm ready when you are. Satisfying. Oh gosh. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. All right, so it's time for dinner and this is what we are having. Steak, we got vegetables. Um, he's doing a can of beans. Oh. It's not uh, ultra light. They're frozen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. We have a fire. Partially frozen. They're partially frozen. <laughs> but that's just the, the steak there. I still have it. But Vegetables, and then we have um, that thing is we have that bread. Is you could kill someone with. <laughs> we have uh, homemade bread that we brought for. Uh, we'll have it for probably for dessert. Um, and basically, all this uh, meal we tr I tried it last week. It worked out really well um, with my kiddos, but. Uh, this week, they uh, were trying this straight onto the coals. Um, this was inspired by one of my favorite YouTube channels is uh, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Uh, the guy's name is Luke, and he lives in Alaska. And his videos are very inspiring. I very much like watching them. And a lot of this stuff is just very basic, but in, um, but effective and that's one of the things is just I feel like you can you can really do a lot of things that he's doing um, like for example making homemade bread straight into the coals or cooking a steak straight into the coals because all it is just a little bit of ash a little bit of ash didn't uh, didn't hurt anybody so uh, yeah we're cooking all right dinner's ready and we're chowing down and it's freaking delicious it might not look like much, but after a long day of hiking and going through the snow, trudging, trudging is the word, right? After a long day of hiking and trudging through the snow, um, steak, campfire steak is just absolutely delicious. You don't need a bowl or a plate. You can have a log. Dude, Jason's just eating straight off a log. What do you think, Anthony? Is is the steak the worth steak it? The steak is better than most of the ones I make at home. So. I know. And we just put it straight onto the fire, like onto the coals. And it cooked it. And I got to attribute this idea was all thanks to Luke from Outdoor Boys. From the, the, the Alaskan guy. My kids love watching him. So, yeah. Oh, I poked myself. You don't have to <laughs> eat a boring freeze-dried meal. You can have hey, something gourmet. So we still have beans that we haven't even gone into that are right there. And then a, a bunch of homemade bread in there um, that we're going to start cooking after. Kind of as like a dessert. So. Good morning. Uh, I know the video skipped a bit because last night while we were making dinner, my batteries froze on my GoPro. Now I'm on my phone. Um, and so, yeah, I tried to record before dinner or uh, after dinner and before bed. And this morning I tried to resurrect the uh, the GoPro and, and it did not come back to life. Um, so regardless, a recap of what happened. Um, bread, there was some trial and error, but we did kind of, uh, it, it ended up being good. But the highlight of last night's dinner was definitely uh the steaks just delicious we i marinated them in some uh, olive oil and so and some seasoning uh for about like two days and then threw them straight onto the coals 
and honestly you couldn't even taste the ashes uh all you could taste was just the flavor um the flavor of the the seasoning as well as the the flavor of the vegetables that i marinated it with uh so that was super delicious um last night uh super cold super cold i slid off of my pad because i didn't level out my tent i know uh i <laughs> should have i didn't level out my tent and i slid off my pad and realized why am I so cold? Because I was laying in the snow and not on my insulated pad. Um, so there was a lot of moving around trying to trying to stay um, stay warm. Um, but the gear worked out. I survived. I didn't die. Uh, so yeah, it worked out pretty good. Um, look at the view though. The ice, the lake is frozen over and it's just a beautiful sunrise over the mountains. The sun's just kind of peeping up right over there. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get packed up and get going. We already had breakfast, already, uh, you know, did the morning routine. And now we're just going to pack up our stuff and head back to the car. So um, I won't bore you on the hike, but we'll see you back at the cars and do a whole recap of how this adventure has gone. See you at the cars. All right, so we're back at the trailhead, back at the cars. We finished our winter adventure and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work. It was definitely a level two type fun. Um, if you're not familiar with what those are, I, I, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's like level one is like it's fun in the moment. It's fun afterwards. You know, looking back at it, it's fun. Level two is like it kind of sucks in the moment. But afterwards you look back and it's like, yeah, that was worth it. That was fun. Level three is just, it sucks before or during and after it just, you know, so, um, definitely level two, it was, it was hard and, uh, but a lot of fun. Um, definitely learned some things. The bread was trial and error. Uh, it, it worked out in the end, but it was, it was all right. Um, uh, the steak was just a hit. It was amazing. It was cold. Learned some things about my gear so that next time I'm warmer, going to bring probably snowshoes next time there was definitely some times where it would have been nice to have some snowshoes um so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do so i would appreciate it and uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see more of if you like this type of stuff um also a huge shout out to the outdoor boys youtube channel um the guy's name is luke and i love watching his show or his, his channel and uh, a lot of the a lot of good ideas um i steal from from his channel so go check him out enough talk thanks for watching if you made it this far you're the best we'll see you on the next one bye